The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has urged governments at all levels to be proactive and prevent drug and substance abuse by the youth. He made the appeal at the Foundation Lane Ceremony of the Drug and Substance Abuse Rehabilitation Center at the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital in Budo Egba, Kwara State. The report. It's acknowledged that the country is challenged by drug and substance abuse and called for urgent steps to be taken to address the challenge. The youth in any nation are the leaders of tomorrow and you need to preserve, skill the youth for them to be leaders tomorrow. Today is a fact that across the country we are challenged as a people, as a nation, by substance and drug abuse. Some of them that fall victims, some of our youth, need to be rehabilitated. But I want to take the opportunity here to appeal to all of us in leadership positions at all levels of government, federal, state, and local government, to ensure that we are proactive, that we make it difficult for drugs and substance to be available for them to be abused, that we protect our youth because by protecting them, we are protecting our tomorrow, we are protecting the development of our nation. And therefore, this particular project is one sure way of ensuring that those that are falling victims would have a rehabilitation center to go to for rehabilitation. The acting medical director of the hospital explains the steps to be taken to avoid drugs abuse. The causes of mental disorders are numerous and are mainly, I can say, genetic and environmental. So genetic, if somebody has the gene or is predisposed to having a mental disorder, he has a family history of mental disorder, he has the gene within him that predisposes him. Or um, a childhood conditions, adverse childhood conditions that can predispose to mental health disorder later in life, the person can have it. Of course, it is not everybody that is predisposed that eventually come out with, the mental, with mental disorders. Environmental conditions, you know, facilitated by substance use disorders, infections, etc., can bring about a mental health condition. Of course, the etiology will now suggest how to prevent such. Proper home, proper child upbringing, and selection of who you get married to can, that will dilute, in order to dilute the genetic influence on, a, on a, the children that would eventually be born. But most importantly, reduction in adverse conditions in the environment, such as don't smoke, don't take marijuana, that's cannabis, don't use other substances of abuse that can damage the brain and, and you know, precipitate mental health conditions. If there's an infection, that should be in childhood, that should be properly treated. If there's infection later in life, that should, should be properly tre treated. Nutrition conditions should be, should be you know, taken care of so that eventually one will not have mental disorders later in life.